Hello, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Glory. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, I say welcome. Please try to subscribe to this channel, like and share it, and also press the notification bell there so that whenever I, re I release a video, you will be the first to be notified about it. And to my old subscriber that are always coming back, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today, I will be speaking about another dream interpretation. And before I go into what I will be speaking today, I want to say here that if you are leaving comments concerning the dream you have, maybe on this one that I want to talk about or something else entirely, please give as much details as possible. It will give you a unique meaning because God speaks to you according to you, according to what is happening in your life, according to your situation. That is how God speaks to you. And also, if you have sent any comment to me and I've not replied you, please be patient. I will do that. And also, if I miss it, you can resend it so that I can be reminded about it. That is for that. And also, if what you have to discuss with me is personal, like it's private, and you don't want to share it on the comment section below, I will be leaving my uh, my contact that you can use to get me on the description box and also I can leave it on the screen for you on the screen so that you can contact me and I will talk about it so let me go to, to what I'm discussing today I'm speaking about climbing in the dream what does it stand for what does it mean when you see that you were climbing it can be you are climbing a ladder it can be you saw yourself climbing a staircase or you can see yourself climbing the mountain. God is using all these things to speak about something to you. Now, again, on this one, it depends on how the dream come out. How you see yourself in the climbing. Did you were you able to climb to the top? Were you just on the staircase standing there? Or were you going down? Or were you going up and down? Or did you fall from that climbing? All those things give different meaning to this uh, dream about climbing. Now, let me start by saying that the first meaning of climbing is a very positive one. When you see that you are actually climbing and climbing and you were able to get to the top of the place, the stairways or on top of the mountain, Wherever you were climbing to, you were able to get to the top. What God is speaking to you about is there's going to be a change in your life. A big change is coming. Also, it means you are going to achieve. There is, it means achievement. You are going to achieve whatever that you are doing at this moment. You are going, it will work out for you. That is success. And also, it means that you will be promoted to the next level in your life. To the next level of whatever you do you are going to be promoted. Also, it stands for victory, when you see that you climb to the top. Also, again, it stands for prayer answered. Like, for instance, maybe you are seeking the face of God for something, you are asking God for something, or you have dedicated your time for, for something and you have been asking God for. And you have this dream, God is telling you that he has answered that prayer. Also, it speaks about you now being favored. Now another way is, is telling you that you are going to move to next level in your life. You are moving to the next level. Also, the meaning of it is breakthrough. You see that I'm speaking about positive side of it. It is wonderful when you see that you climb and you get to the top. Now, let me speak about another area that you can see yourself climbing. Let's assume you just see that you were climbing just high. You are climbing, you do not see the end of your climbing till you wake up. What God is telling you about is that you are on the right path. Whatever you are doing now, you are on the right path. He is telling you this so that you will not uh, have double mind on what you are doing. And also he is telling you that you have everything to succeed. You have the ability in you to succeed. God has been putting you whatever you need to achieve 
your aim in life god has given you but that, that climb is god god showing you that if you set your mind to do something it will work out well for you then it, god is using it again as an encouragement like you should keep on what you are doing like for instance now maybe you are on a project or you are doing something god is telling you that don't be discouraged or maybe you see things in a different way than what you are expecting god is using this to speak to you that you should not be discouraged that what you are doing will work out well for you also is telling you not to relent not to relent and also it means that you are on your way to breakthrough like if you can continue what you are doing you will actually get to the top just like the interpretation of getting to the top now will be your portion when you are able to get there so that is what god is using that to speak to you now you can see it in another way let's say you see yourself you are just climbing up and you are coming down you see that you are climbing up and down god is speaking to you that you are not focused like you are not you are not stable in what you do you are here and there you are not organized that is what God is speaking. No, God see your is showing you your state of mind at the moment that what you are doing now that you are not really putting your mind to do it. Also, God is using to speak to you that you should make a decision concerning you, concerning the, what is happening in your life or what you want God to do for you and stick to it. Let me give you an example on what I'm trying to say on this area. Let's assume, I'm just giving an example of this. Let's assume your case is about relationship. Maybe you are here, you are there. You have not been able to make a determination or to face one. Okay, this is the person I want to follow. Or maybe different people at the moment are coming to you or you are going to them. And you don't really, you are not able to really choose which one you want to go for. God is using this. If you now have this kind of dream, God is speaking to you that you have to be focused. If you don't know what you have to do, or let's say, I will continue with the example. Let's say in that relationship, you don't really know who to choose, where to go, what to do. Go back to God in prayer, to God. There's a way you can pray to God, to God to show you the direction or give you a sign of who to follow. I'm just using that relationship as an example. Also, God is telling you that you have the ability to succeed. If you only you put your mind to it, that you will succeed, but you are not focused. And that is why God is showing you this, that you have to stay focused to get to your next level in life. Another way that you can see it is you are not down, you are not up. Or like, like for instance, you are just you saw yourself on the staircase just there. You are not actually climbing. You are not actually going down. What that is speaking about is there is a limitation on your life. There is an actually spirit of limitation affecting you. There can be an embargo that has fixed you to a, a spot. Also, it speaks about you being stagnated. When you see that you are on the staircase and you are not going up and you are not going down. Also, God can use it to speak to you. I'm talking about, the first one I'm speaking about now is about spiritual problem. Now, it can also mean that you too, on your own side, you are not ambitious. God can say, God is speaking to you that you you are content with little or the nothing that you have. You are not really making efforts to do anything. You are not really making effort to break new ground for yourself. So it can be on that area and it can also it, it can also be on the area of spiritual attack for that placing an embargo on somebody. So if you are somebody you know that you are actually making effort to succeed and you have this kind of dream, you know that your problem is spiritual attack. If you know that you don't have any spiritual attack in place and you see that you, are, you have this kind of dream, then that means God is speaking to you that you should not try make more effort in what you do. So another way that you can see yourself climbing is maybe in that dream you see that you fall. Let's say you, you, you were climbing up and you fell down from the mountain or the staircase or whatever you are climbing or the ladder, you, you fell down. That is, God is telling you that there is a failure facing you. It leads to hardship in your life. And you have to pray against difficulty. You have to pray against 
financial problem in your life because that is telling you that you are failed, that things are not going to work out well for you if you see yourself fall the way you are climbing from. Another way that you can see this climbing is, let's say you were climbing up and somebody came and pushed you from there and you fell. That God has just opened your eyes to see that there are powers stopping you. There are powers stopping you from getting to where you are going. They are fighting you as in they are in place. Also, it stands for presence of witchcraft in your life, witchcraft power that are fighting you. And as far as they are, they will know that you are not going anywhere. As in, they have already determined that you will not do, you will not do anything well. Now, as far as they are there, I am telling you that there is nothing. It will just like when somebody is fetching water in a basket. You are using a basket to fetch water because every effort will be wasted. That being pushed is actually a confrontation. The assurance that there are powers fighting you. Now, I always tell you people, when you have dream like this, God is using it to speak to you. And uh, it can be a positive one for you. It can also be a negative one. No matter the interpretation that it gives to your case, what God is telling you is that you can pray to cancel it. You can also pray to receive it, to claim what God has given to you. It is not to believe that powers are fighting me and that is all there's nothing I can do. God is showing you for a reason. And due to this kind of situation that if you have this dream in the one that I have not mentioned, you can always leave your you can always leave your comment on the comment section below and I will answer you on that one. And also I want to say if it has a negative meaning to you because of many dream interpretation of people that I've been doing, I have decided to do like a program consigning different cases like deliverance on witchcraft, deliverance on uh, uh, spirit husband, deliverance on financial financial difficulties. All this program, if you can follow them yourself, like I will do it in a way of like seven days, praying every day and just putting a time, fix a time of the day that you have to follow and you pray that prayer every day if you can do it for seven days you will god will answer you you will see an improvement it is sure thing because god himself has said it that if you seek him you shall find him if you seek him with all your heart and soul and also you remember he said in the second chronicle that if my people that are called by my name, if they shall humble themselves and seek me and cry for mercy, he say, and turn from their wicked way, he say, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. God himself uh, telling you that when you seek him, you will find him. So whatever the case may be, if you come by yourself, follow the program that I will be releasing. Just follow it and pray it to yourself every day you will get delivered. You will get solution to your problem. And also, along the line, when I start preaching that program, because God will be opening your eyes to see things, God will definitely be showing you. That is why I say you have to follow it accordingly with your mind open to God by yourself. It is you, and you open your mind to God. God will definitely be speaking to you during that, that program. Because I'm saying this out of experience. God will be speaking to you through, during that program. Whatever the dream that you are having during that program, it is always unique. It is not something that will be treated like just anyhow. So you have to take those dreams that you'll be having during those programs very, very serious because God is pointing you to the direction of where your own is coming from or what you have to do or where, where you are going to turn to. You will list them. It's very important. You then if you can leave it on the comment section or you send it to my email then I will be able to face it and I will be giving you direction as you continue the program and God Almighty will answer you. I pray for you as the Lord liveth and the Spirit of God is alive. Powers that are challenging your glory. Powers that have made attempt to fight you or they are already fighting you or they have put 
things in place to fight you. I destroy their powers over you in the name of Jesus. Every decree that they have made against you, today I cancel them in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you have this dream in a positive way, by the power that lives in the name of Jesus, it shall be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. That dream that you have will manifest positively in your life in Jesus' name. So shall it be in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I want to appeal to you to please subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe and uh, like and share it and also press the notification bell so that you will get notified when I start releasing other videos. Till when next time I see you, I say remain blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.